Hi, and welcome back to thiskindofgirl.com, the home of smart and sexy swinging advice. Today, we are talking about single men in the swinger lifestyle and what couples are looking for in a single male swinger. So, if you want to learn how to go from nervous newbie to sophisticated swinger, listen up, guys, because I have all the very best advice for you. Let's get straight down to it. And first of all, I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you that you need to be well dressed and well presented. I could tell you how you need to be freshly showered and shaved, but I'm not going to because if you have any sense, which I'm pretty sure you do because you've sought out this video because you want to boost your chances of swinger success, you have already come to that conclusion. And there's a million and one advice sites and YouTube channels out there telling you you need to be well dressed and you need to have a shower. You know that. I'm not your mother. I ain't going to tell you that, okay? <laughs> Let's just get that clear. So, instead, what I am going to talk to you about is character traits, about safe sex, and about what type of guy couples are looking for. Now, it doesn't matter about your sexual preference or how you like to play. The same rules apply to all male swingers. Regardless of whether you are dominant, you're submissive, you're a ball, or perhaps you're none of the above. Safe sex should always be a priority. Yes, there are couples and singles out there who do enjoy bareback sex, but never make this assumption. If you want to be a successful swinger and play with somebody's husband or wife, then always play respectfully and safely. Now, it is imperative to remember that serious swinger couples are part of a team and should always be approached as one. I have seen, and this has happened to me, I have seen guys waiting and waiting for an opportunity to approach the woman in private, often when she was on her way to the bathroom or at the bar, or in my case, when I was downstairs getting changed to suddenly decide that this is the perfect time to make their move as she is away from the clutches of her husband or her boyfriend. Guys, listen. This technique is not going to work, okay? She's not going to go, oh yes, of course, let me just drop to my knees and give you a blowjob right now, sir. That's not how it works, okay? If you want to play with a couple, you have to be prepared to talk to them both. Waiting until she's on her own is just going to probably freak her out a bit or piss her off and she's going to return to her husband or boyfriend and say, babe, some guy just accosted me when I was having a wee. Some guy was just trying to chat me up and trying to say, do you want to go and play with him? Don't be that guy. You are better than that. Don't be that guy. Be a smart, successful swinger. Now, couples who have online profiles and openly advertise for single guys to play with them will be unindated with one-line wonders, dick pictures, and eager over requests from horny guys. I know because S and I are on a site and sometimes we do look for single guys. What you need to do if you wanna approach a couple for swinging and you wanna approach them online is have a really good swinger dating profile, okay? Now, head over to thiskindofgirl.com and have a read through my posts on how to make a great swinger dating profile and also go to um, top 10 tips for single male swingers because I have more advice on what to put in your dating profile. So head over there, guys. Now, what you need to do is, once you've made your profile, have a look online at different couples and think what makes them suitable for you and what makes you suitable for them. There is no point sending messages or pictures to bisexual couples who are looking for bisexual men if you are a straight male. That just shows me you haven't read through the profile, you haven't taken time and you're not going to get anywhere. If a couple are only into BBC fetish or perhaps they are only into cook holding and this is not your thing, there is no point contacting them on the off chance that they are going to accept and you're going to have sex because it's just not going to work out. It doesn't work like that. So invest time and effort 
into researching couples' profiles and writing a really good message to them. Don't just send them a picture of your dick saying, um, do you want this or can we play? Because any clued up, switched on couple is going to say no. Chances are they will anyway. So write a message to them that demonstrates your ability to converse with ease and talk to both partners instead of diving in straight away with sex talk and what ask them sorry ask them about what experiences they have had in the lifestyle as a whole how do they enjoy swinging what do they enjoy outside the world of swinging how long have they been together um what can you bring to their relationship and what can they bring to theirs what can they bring to your story and what boundaries do they have instead of being explicit and diving in with what you want to do to them or what you're gonna do which is what some guys do take time to investigate further um because if not you're going to end up talking to people wasting their time but it's never going to amount to anything because if you're seriously not into vanilla and the couple who you talk to are it's never going to work out properly so what you need to do is do your research first, find out what you like, find out what they like, and then make an assumption. Don't just go with whoever talks to you first, okay? If you are in a swinger club, the same rules apply. And recently I wrote an article titled, Can Single Men Visit Swinger Clubs? And in this article, I gave my ultimate piece of single guy swinger knowledge okay the thing i shared in the article is so important and i'm going to share it with you now because i think it will really boost your in fact i know it will boost your chances of success there is no thing about it because this technique works regardless of whether you are a single male a single female or a couple it works i'm going to share it with you now so listen up guys okay so what you need to do when you see a couple or a single person in a club that you want to play with, you want to go over and you want to talk to them and you want to completely shift the focus away from sex. What do I mean by shift the focus? What I mean is shift the intention. You don't want to go in with there with sex talk. You don't want to go in with there being too heavy and too full on. What you want to do is you want to present yourself as charming as flirtatious, you're talkative, you're chatty, you are sophisticated, you are the type of person that they can build up a rapport with, you are yourself, you are charming, you're lovely, you're there, you're chatty, you're flirty, you're friendly, you're not going to talk about sex and what it is you want or any negative experiences that you've had or what you don't want to experience or what you won't do or what you won't play with or who you won't play with, I should say. What you want to do is just present yourself in a really positive, chatty, informal, flirtatious light and leave it there. That's all you need to do. If they like you and if there's a rapport and a connection, their minds will already go to somewhere more sexual. So all you have to do is go over, be your charming, natural, flirtatious self and leave it there. Stop overthinking about the end outcome. Stop focusing on just having sex. Stop worrying about oh I'm speaking to these people and oh I'm definitely gonna have sex with them because they're the first ones that spoke to me you might not even hit it off and then you're definitely not gonna have a great time uh, playing with them all you need to do is go over be naturally flirtatious be yourself be charming and that's it and you have to be able to talk to both partners if you demonstrate to them that you are secure you are outgoing you are approachable their minds will go there trust me this works it works if you're a single girl talking to couples it works if you're a single girl talking to other girls and it works if you're a girl talking to other guys all you have to do is go over and be naturally flirtatious and friendly then leave it there make your excuses and leave go back to the bar go and chat with the couples if they want to play with you 
they will seek you out guys there's no point following them around the club all night hoping on the off chance if they want you they will let you know now if you head over to this kind of girl.com and read my single men in the swinger lifestyle post you will read an exact account of this um, from one of my followers who got in touch with me and you will learn that it works go and read his account and it will reconfirm what I have just told you so I hope this video has shared uh, has shed some insight on what it's like for couples wanting to find a single guy and what it is that couples are looking for do please join me next time on this kind of girl.com where I will be sharing my singer my swinger secrets I shall see you there.